Okay, so we have a trip coming up here soon, and as I was looking at the trail, it looks to me like I may be wanting to air down the tires when we get down there. And so I decided I was going to try something I haven't used yet. I've had this pump for a couple years now, got it for Christmas. I have not used it. It seems like every time I've aired down the tires, uh, there's been somebody I've been with who's either had a better compressor or when we come off the trail, it's a short drive to a gas station or uh, some source of air. And so I haven't had to use this. It's been sitting in this bag under my seat, uh, both in my JK and now in this JL. So I'm gonna give that a try. I uh, wanna make sure it works and uh, can get air up the tires. My dog's whining at me. Hey. Um, come on, come on, let me do this. He just wants to play right now. Um, anyway, <laughs> hey, hey. So I'm gonna, we, we definitely wanna make sure that this uh, works before it's uh, out on the trail and uh, I find out it doesn't have enough power or pressure to fill up the tires. So I'll get into that. Also, in addition to that, <laughs> new uh, JLs, and I know the JTs I think offer it as well. This dog's going nuts. Um, they, uh, they have the tire assist, the tire fill assist um, on these now. And so I wanted to give that a try, uh, see how it worked and kind of review that a little bit as well. So I'm gonna plan on doing that in this video as this dog's uh, attacking and chewing on my hand. So we'll get to that. Okay, like I said, I've had, I got this pump a couple years ago for Christmas. I have not used it. Um, and I thought before this trip, it might be a good time to use it. It is a Husky uh, compressor. I think Husky, I'm not sure where that comes from. If it's a Lowe's product, I, I guess I gotta look it up. I don't remember. But uh, anyway, it's a Husky brand uh, compressor. Runs off the 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, out of the vehicle. I thought I'd give this a try. Uh, with the trip coming up, I'm not sure if we're gonna need to air down or not. And it got me thinking about this pump that I've had, and so I'm gonna give it a try. But in addition to trying that, I wanted to try the uh, tire uh, assist system that uh, comes onto the Jeep that uh, lets you set your desired PSI for your tires, and then it'll supposedly it honks at you once uh, you reach that PSI. So, a couple of things right now, I've got the tires inflated to whatever normally I inflate them to, about 35 to 37. And I've got these inflator or deflators that I've used. Uh, these are from Smitty Belt. And I think I've got them all set to about 20 to 22 uh, PSI. And I'm just going to do one uh, right now, uh, the driver's side. They're all, I think, pretty close to what they're set at. So how these work is you just undo the valve cover, take off it, and then they just screw right on. Uh, they're, like I said, I preset them to 20, and they just screw on. And you can hear the air coming out. And usually they're pretty close. They go down to uh, whatever your preset. And like I said, these are uh, set at 20 degree or 20 pounds and I'm not sure how long this will take so I'm going to let that go and uh, not make you suffer through on the video. It's on there. It's still going. I ran a timer on there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's four, almost four and a half minutes. I started just a little bit late but uh, I'm still at four and a half minutes and I can hear the air still coming out. Here's an update. We're at uh, 7.50, almost eight minutes. Still going. 
Okay, it stopped. It's about uh, 10 minutes, 30. I'm not sure that you can see that on there. But 10 minutes, well, there's a lot of glare. Anyway, 10.32, uh, probably close to 11 minutes it took uh, to get down to supposedly around 20 uh, so pounds. See how close the settings were if they stayed close to what it is. So right now I'm at just between 20, it's probably close to 20, 25 uh, pounds. So pretty close. That's all right uh, for this test. Okay, so these work pretty well. You can see that it got within a few um, pounds of where I believed it was set. I can adjust it a little bit more and get it down to, you know, right close to the 20, 21, where I like to be usually when I air down. But uh, these are by Smitty Built. Uh, they work pretty well, takes uh, a bit of time. Uh, 10, 11 minutes to go from, like I said, 35-ish down to about 22, 25-ish. We'll try out the uh, tire assist, the tire fill assist, and see how that works. All right, I'm going to try the tire assist. i got the dog right here watching. Andy, say hi. All right, so how this tire assist, and I have not done this yet, so this was a first time for me. Uh, the car has to be on. button so it's not quite so loud the car has to be on and once everything connects I hope the glare from the Sun isn't too bad all right so you got to go to settings you have to go to safety and driving assistance and then you see where it says tire fill assist. You have to check that box. So once you check that box, you're good. Then you can go back out. And you've got to go to the tire select fill alert on the menu page. You then click on that and then you set your tire pressure where you want it. And I want the front about 35 and I want the back about 35. So that I put apply and now when I fill it up with the selectable tire fill alert according to what I read as this we'll see if this pump works when it gets to 35 I should hear the horn honk and I uh, should be good to go but the engine has to be running uh, the entire time so if that pump takes forever I may run out of gas uh, well before I get my in this case just the one tire inflated but if I had all four down uh, it may take all day so th this is why I wanted to test it before I got out on the trail okay the car's running I've got it plugged in I tested it out it filled up a little bit so the gauge is not exactly on but you can see the gauge is showing uh, just under 30 I've let it fill up just a little bit, but I'm going to kick it on. Well, actually, I'm going to start a timer. Kick it on. And see how long this thing takes uh, to fill up. If it takes too long, this may not be a solution. So we'll give it a shot and see uh, how long on one tire. And if this pump has the ability to get it up to 35. Right here it's showing 30 and it's filling up. I was hoping on here it would show, uh, you know, as it progressed, but it's just set for the desired top end. And as soon as that hits, hopefully it will uh, sound the horn. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And as we get close, let's see if it beeps at me. Okay, one thing I wanted to touch on was when you are in the setting and you've got the box checked for the tire fill assist, if you uh, turn off the car or uh, stick it in drive, I believe, 
uh, it will go back to uh, default and uh, turn that off. So once that's done, you can see I go to the uh, tire select fill, it's checked. And if I, I'm gonna leave it on this page, if I stick it in drive, it grays out and I come back to it and it's grayed out now. So stick it in, in drive or turning off the car deselects that. So you'd have to go in again uh, to your settings and redo the, recheck that box if you turn your car off or uh, you know drive forward or anything. One other thing you notice too, as this is going and the tire fill alert system is on, your flashers are on. So I don't know if you can see the flashers, they're both going, but uh, that's one of the things, I guess, uh, safety thing, if you're on the side of the road and you're doing this, it's gonna automatically have your flashers going. So we're at 32, the timer shows uh, a minute 44, 45 roughly, and I probably ran it for 40, 45 seconds. So we're probably at probably close to three minutes and I'm at uh, 32 from wherever I was before about 25 ish. So we're coming along. All right, we're at uh, 34 on the dashboard. Again, it's set at 35. I'm probably at close to three, maybe three three and a half minutes maybe. Let's see when that reaches 35, if we hear the horn honk. There it goes. Okay, you heard the horn honk. Scared the dog a little bit, but that pump got uh, from 25-ish or so to uh, the 35 in about, I would say, four minutes. So four minutes per tire, you're gonna look at about, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to air up. But uh, this pump seems to work. It's the Husky. But there you go, the, the tire uh, selectable tire fill alert uh, on the Jeep JL system. Uh, nice little handy tool to use.